Hey everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and to celebrate 10,000 subscribers, I took my daughter to Walmart with $20 and had her pick out foods for dinner, and you will not be disappointed. First of all, I want to say thank you once again to everybody who has subscribed either in the past couple months or even in the past year and a half. We finally made it to 10,000 and I am so over the moon excited. Now listen, nothing really exciting happens at 10,000. All the fun happens at 100,000. So we're slowly making our way there. But still, 10,000 is a huge milestone and something that I would never see. So a couple weeks ago, I sent a poll out to you all and said, well, once we hit 10,000, I want to do some sort of a celebratory $20 challenge. What store do you want to see me shop at? And there were, the top two were Walmart and Dollar Tree, but a few of you said, I would like to see Allison take the $20 and go and find and pick out food for your guys' meals. And then a few of you agreed like, yeah, that's a great idea. Well, who am I to disappoint you? I went ahead and did it. I took Allison to Walmart. She is seven years old, by the way. Took her to Walmart with $20 and said, look, you get to buy whatever you want for our dinner. And I really tried not to sway her one way or the other. Like, I know what goes in a healthy meal, but I wanted to see what she could come up with. And I didn't want to put in, like, any extra input. I wanted to see what she could come up with. So before I explain any further, let me go ahead and take you to Walmart. Let me show you everything we picked out, and then I'll tell you my ideas. All right, we are in the parking lot of Walmart, getting ready to go inside and do our $20 challenge. Now, I told Allison that really the only guideline is that we're looking for things for dinner like items so she's already got a few ideas in mind Allison are you ready to do this yeah all right let's do this All right, so here's what we've got. So for our three main meals, it looks like we have some pizza, spaghetti, and fish sticks. And then side items, we have potato chips, yogurt, applesauce, and fig bars. Allison, can we do stuff with this? Of course, potato. 
All right, I'll let's see what we can do. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind is that Allison is seven. And when she eats dinner, this is what she thinks of, okay? When I serve spaghetti and meatballs or something, I give her plain spaghetti with Parmesan cheese and then everything else on the side as well as the vegetables. All she eats is the spaghetti, to be honest with you, because she is that much of a picky eater. And like when I serve fish sticks, all she'll eat really are the fish sticks. So to her, pizza and chips are a complete dinner. Uh, spaghetti is a complete dinner. Fish sticks by itself is a complete dinner. That's just how her mind thinks. So honestly, I'm not really surprised by what she picked. I was honestly hoping she would go and pick out like some eggs or maybe like some sort of random meat, even like a bag of rice or macaroni and cheese or something that I could work with. But I did what I could and I ended up having to use a couple of items from home like frozen vegetables because I, I knew this child would not pick any vegetables. So yes, some of this stuff is really basic, not much room for creativity here, except for the third meal, which you'll see here in a few minutes. But let me go ahead and take you to all the meals and show you how I made them and what Allison thought. Okay, first dinner is Red Baron Brick Oven Crust Cheese Trio Pizza. This actually looks really good. Mozzarella, provolone, parmesan cheese, holy cow. So it serves four, which is not bad. We're gonna bake it at 400 for 19 to 21 minutes. Now, honestly, I'm not surprised that Allison chose frozen pizza because pizza is one of her main food groups, especially like when we go out somewhere. Um, she has her favorite pizza restaurant here close by. Oh, that looks, oh, look at that cheese. Holy cow. Look at like the slices of Parmesan. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to dig into this and I hope that Allison enjoys it. She's not usually a fan of frozen pizza, but because she picked this one out, maybe she will enjoy it. I don't know. But I'll get this in the oven here in a second. And then she picked out some potato chips. She requested pizza and chips for her dinner. Now I also have some broccoli in the freezer that I'm going to heat up. Because I figured, you know, she didn't use any vegetables. But I would like to have some sort of nutritious side item. So I will be heating up some broccoli to go with this. Now let's get this in the oven. Oh my goodness, look how amazing that looks. All right, now the good news about this pizza is that a serving size is a fourth of the pizza, which means that I can cut it nice and evenly <laughs> into eight pieces and not have to worry about, wait, now how do I cut it into six pieces? Or there was even one pizza I bought one time that wanted me to cut it into five pieces, like, how do you cut a pizza into five slices? And I mean, what's the point? And a tiny piece of broccoli will end it. So let's see how this pizza is. All right, Allison. How is it? The best pizza ever. Is it really? Oh, that is awesome to hear. There's certain frozen pizzas that are not your favorite, but I'm glad to hear this one's a favorite. Mm -hmm. well, here is the next dinner. Well, part of it anyway. As you remember, Allison also picked out some fish sticks. So I'm going to use about half of this box tonight, bake that in the oven, and then she wanted some potato chips. And I've also included the applesauce because I figured we needed some sort of a fruit. There's some frozen green beans in the freezer. I'm going to heat those up in the microwave too. Then she wanted these fig bars. So we're each going to get a fig bar to go with it. So let me get these fish sticks in the oven. The oven has just now preheated. Fish sticks are actually one food I am surprised that Allison likes. I mean, she likes chicken nuggets from certain places. Um, McDonald's is her top favorite and I don't remember exactly how she got in the fish sticks but she asked for it one night for dinner so I bought a bag of them 
and she just went to town on it. Like she doesn't, she doesn't like any condiments or anything, so no ketchup or anything like that. She just likes straight up fish sticks. So I figured, all right, I mean, it may not be the healthiest, but it is protein. And as long as she's getting in some of that, if I give her some fruit to go with it, you know, it's, it's balanced. It's pretty good, right? Okay, there's about half the bag. I'm saving the other half for something special for the next dinner. I'll stick that back in the freezer. These fish sticks are going in the oven and they'll be ready in about 15 minutes. All right, meal number two. What do you think of the fish sticks? The best thing in my life. Awesome. I'm trying something a little bit different for dinner tonight. As you saw, Allison chose a box of spaghetti and not a whole lot to go with it, I guess. So I found this recipe, I think it was the Betty Crocker website for a, a fish stick marinara bake, which I don't know. It sounds interesting. It involves like broccoli, as you can see over here. I've got frozen broccoli thawing out right now. We put the fish sticks and the broccoli and some marinara sauce and parmesan. You bake it in the oven, so it's kind of like chicken parmesan, but fish stick parmesan. I don't know. I am thinking that maybe the fish sticks are not going to bake very well in all that stuff. So I'm going to get out my air fryer because I was going to make extra fish sticks for Allison anyway. So I might as well just bake all of those in the air fryer and then once the, the broccoli thing has finished, I'll just put the fish sticks on top of the spaghetti and then pour that over top. I think that'll make the fish sticks or keep them crunchy. So we're going to have to see. I've got the oven preheated to 350. Let me get this broccoli ready. The broccoli, unfortunately, is not completely thawed. It was supposed to thaw completely and like drained out and stuff. That didn't happen, so hopefully it'll turn out okay. I know it might be a little bit watery on the bottom, but I think I can probably scoop around it and it should be fine. What I need to do is put the broccoli in the bottom of the casserole dish, kind of like that, drizzle some olive oil over top, and then I need to sprinkle some basil and garlic powder over top of that. And the recipe also called for like spaghetti sauce, which I don't have, but I do have a can of crushed tomatoes. I'm only going to use half of the can and then I've got some Italian seasoning that I can pour in here as well. So that'll kind of help give it a little bit more flavor. I will probably add some salt and pepper to this as well. Now we've got this and the recipe also calls for both Parmesan cheese and mozzarella. I do not have any mozzarella cheese, so we are just going to stick with some Parmesan and then bake it this way. I don't know. I think it'll turn out okay, if not for the fact that we have like spaghetti sauce and broccoli to go with our spaghetti. I don't know if the fish sticks will give it a really strong flavor, but you know, extra protein should be interesting. Um, as soon as the oven is finished preheating, I'll get this in the oven. It bakes for 30 minutes and then I will get the fish sticks and the spaghetti going. Pretty sure that this entire bag will fit in there. Just need to make sure that they are pretty much in a, um, a flat line. Now I think it says to bake it at 4, 450, but my air fryer I think only goes to 420, so I'm starting this a little bit um, earlier. Bake 14 to 18 minutes. It took 15 in the oven last night, so I'm going to try for 18 and hopefully that'll work. It is smelling really good in here right now. Got the spaghetti going in. Well, I, have, I have five servings in here. 
Uh, four of them are going with the Parmesan, the whatever you want to call it, and then one serving for Allison because she likes her spaghetti on the side. All right, the fish sticks finished. They only took like 15 minutes instead of the 18, which was nice. Spaghetti's finished. This just came out of the oven, and like I suspected, there's a little bit of liquid down at the bottom, but I can always just scoop around that. Let's go ahead and get this stuff plated. So first of all, Allison likes her spaghetti, just plain. She likes butter and then Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this ready for her first and let it kind of cool off a little bit while I plate the rest of it. I am now attempting to pour some of the broccoli, Parmesan, whatever you want to call it, on top of here. We'll get some uh, fish sticks on there in a second. Okay, so yeah, it does look a little weird being on top like that, but it is a lot crunchier. I don't think it would have stayed this crunchy if we had baked it along with everything else. And then Allison, of course, gets her fish sticks and her spaghetti, which she's going to enjoy. And because she picked out yogurt and I had no idea what to do with it, we're going to include that as a side item for her dinner. And yes, there was a lot of liquid left in there, but thankfully a slotted spoon helps. Holy cow, I gave you what, like fi six fish sticks and they're all gone? Yeah. Your yogurt's gone? Yeah. How's your spaghetti? The best spaghetti ever. Awesome. And she refuses to use a fork. Okay, Allison, out of all three meals, which one was your favorite? Spaghetti and fish sticks! The spaghetti and fish sticks. And why is that? Because I love not eating noodles with a fork. <laughs> you love not eating you noodles with a fork. All right, well, my favorite was definitely the pizza. That pizza was really, really good. This last dinner here, that fish stick parmesan, I mean, it was okay, but I don't think I would mix fish sticks and uh, the cheese and the spaghetti sauce. So, I don't know. It was a good experiment. I was happy to try it. Allison, thank you so much for letting us spend $20, and thank you for... Uh, spending it on such amazing, delicious food. You're welcome. Well, I hope this was somewhat interesting for you. Like I said, she picked some really basic items and she picked a lot more expensive items too. The pizza was $4, the fish sticks were $5. So there wasn't a whole lot of room to buy a bunch of items. She bought a lot of big ticket items. But in either case, she picked out the meals, she actually ate them, or at least part of it and that's all I care about. So hopefully this was a good $20 challenge, a good 10,000 subscriber celebratory challenge. I will be doing some actual $20 extreme grocery budget challenges here in the next couple of weeks. I do plan on going to Walmart with $20 to see, okay, what is the most nutritious food that you can buy with that little bit of money? So please stay tuned for that. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel yet, please do so. Like I said, we just hit 10,000. My next big goal is 20,000. I'm sure we can get there in no time. Thanks to all of you. So once again, thank you very much. And when you subscribe to this channel and like the video, ring that bell notification, you'll receive notifications when more videos like this come out, as well as my other grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later.